Welcome to Beers and Banter. This is a Hobby Homies podcast where we partake in a beverage and try not to hang shit on each other just for the sake of it. But we, we try. We do it. I mean, it look at this hat. No, I'm just kidding. It's a dope hat. It's different. Mine's here, fully yeah, displayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we have new merch for those that missed the live episode. Yep. Um, but before you tell me to introduce ourselves, <laughs> because I forget every episode. Who are we, Fox? We are your humble hosts. I'm Fox. This is my friend, Shane. Friend. Wow, this is what it's like to have a friend. <laughs> just for, play it cool, dude. Play it cool. You always do this. You always make a big deal of this. Yeah, we're just friends. <laughs> 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 I hear it. I hear it now. I hear it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good. Uh, so we're kicking off this episode with beverages brought to us by Gridlock. Where'd my can go? Did you move my can because it's I messy? I didn't fucking touch it. You did. You gave oh, it to Churchy. <laughs> I gave it to Churchy. You absolute peanut. <laughs> so he has. Thank you. I am a peanut. <laughs> I am a peanut, and that's your best friend. <laughs> You're friends with a peanut. True. Uh, this is a mountain culture beer called the Status Quo. This is his and his wife's most favorite beer. What do you think, Shane? Is that a hobby homie's guarantee? That's a hobby homie's guarantee. Nice. I I actually really enjoy it. it um, we were treated to some gridlock beers. I call these mountain culture <laughs> company gridlock beers. Yeah. Um, these are gridlock because beers. they are provided by gridlock himself. Mm. Um. We enjoyed some the other week, but the goddamn motherfucking gremlins oh, got into the, the audio the and audio that was gremlins. lost to the sands of time. Um, yeah. So those were some loose episodes. Too. They were real loose. They're probably good. Yeah. We tried They're a new good. format where we had beers and banters before the main episode. Never again. Yes. <laughs> <We can laughs> You're like, there's nothing wrong with it. It'll be fine. And, and in I'm theory, like, there wasn't. All right. <laughs> but I mean, we were drinking IPAs. And they were like, motherfuckers were like one point... No, how many strand drinks were Well, there? this one's 1.6. No, that was stronger than that. They're yeah, like they were. 2.7 or something like that. It was like 2.1 <laughs> 1 and 1. 1.8. We yeah. 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 Anyway, but... Um, it sneaks up on you. But these... Yeah. These are... These, these are, are really good. They are really nice. Real smooth. Agreed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I smelt it, I was like, this is going to be a gem. Yeah. It's got that same consistency as... It's actually got a hazy kind of vibe yeah. to it. Yeah. Like, if someone gave this to me, I'd be like... It's a hazy IPA. That's a hazy IPA. Yeah. For sure. And is it? I don't even know. I don't know. It says, it's a uh, New England pale. Sure. Uh, made for hop lovers. Oh, it's very hoppy. Mm. It hops straight out of this into my mouth. Yeah. Uh, late and dry hop additions. It is, it is a bit dry. Yeah. It's full flavored and more tropical than Hawaiian ukulele orchestra. I wouldn't know. Nice. But this is my point of reference now for what a Hawaiian ukulele orchestra yeah. tastes like. Yeah. <laughs> You can taste one, all right, mm. in Hawaii. Mm. It's good. It is very oh, good. Oh, but we need to rate it. Out of five. I'm going to solve a four. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because I gave the haze, the Bolter Hazy IPA a 4.2, mm-hmm. I'm going to give this a 4.1. Ah, I knew it. Yeah. You haven't found anything to pass that Bolter IPA, have you? Oh, the Bolter Hazy IPA is sorry, a 4.2. The, the Hazy. The actual Bolter IPA. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, Bolter Hazy, 4.2. Yep. Bolter IPA. I haven't done it on the podcast. Yeah. But it's a 4.4. Right, okay. Yeah. Yep. And yep. this is a 4.1. So these are good, solid. Oh, they're up Bloody there. solid beers. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Fuck yeah. Yeah, so I like yep. this one. I don't know if I liked the one we had on the previous ep. The same? Ooh, because we had the two. We had Pillow Talk. Yeah. And we had the other one, which was... The Coconut one. But anyway, yeah, yeah, again, yeah. lost to the sands of time. But Pillow yeah. Talk was really good. It was. One of them was really good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all made up in New South Wales, in the Blue Mountains, Mountain Culture Beer Company. Really good. So check them out, yeah. Yeah, they've all been bangers. Yeah. Even, ba- even the bad one. I was talking to Lethal the other day, um, and he was telling me that he was ordering these from the brewery online, right? Yeah. And then he's like, the bottle I literally across the road from my house sells it. What? <laughs> yeah. So he lives like in... in somewhere in sydney right yeah so i guess he's probably in like an apartment building maybe yeah wait um, lethal no i thought Gridlock. you said lethal did i i thought you said lethal oh, i don't know maybe i was Gridlock. thinking of lethal maybe Gridlock. right okay lethal's always somewhere at the front of my mind yeah, as well yeah. so yeah, yeah. in our hearts and in our minds <laughs> at all time the um, yeah so gridlock was ordering these from you know online mm. and then he's like oh man i found out the yeah the bottle across the road sells it that would ruin <laughs> me finance i would never financially recover from that <laughs> no i'm glad they're not local because yeah. that's the only thing that's surely me. someone stocks them around here i go- i literally googled really it yeah? yeah you couldn't find it 
What would you rate it, Churchy, out of five? Easily a four. Yeah, it's a Solid strong four. Strong four. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So, oh, we got some listener questions. Can I play a nice. cheeky little jingle <laughs> <laughs> from my phone? We're not quite, we haven't quite upgraded to the technology yet where we can play this as part of our episode. Surely that thing can do it. Oh, yeah. Probably, uh, I, I, I can hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Before yeah, day. you could have just emailed it to I actually, Churchy. I actually deliberately got Oliver to email it to us so that it was there, ready to go. But anyways. But, still, this is, this but is this is listener questions. <laughs> oh, hang on. i got to turn it up. <laughs> this way, sorry. Listener questions. Listener questions. These are the questions the listeners ask. Oh, and that is our jingle for the listener questions. Welcome oh, <laughs> to our most famous segment. <laughs> um, can you please listener pad time questions. while I log into the account? <laughs> sure, I can pad time. So that... Um, track that you guys just heard there was created by Oliver. He is the meme lord of the Discord channel. Um, Correct. Also a talented musician. Well, he's not the vocalist there, but he, I'm sure he's playing the piano. At least. Yeah. How do you even log out? That's the question. <laughs> he's still going to. Yeah, I'll figure it out. But what I would do, you had a beers and banter topic you said. You were going to talk to me earlier about something. Oh, this was just, yeah, something in passing. And then I guess it was a more of a beers and banter topic because. My blood was boiled. Oh, boy. All right, so oh, we're going man. on a tangent, but we'll get to listen to questions in a second. I need to hear about this that has you boiled. You played the jingle, though. Oh, did I? Okay. I just need to type in my password. Uh... <laughs> type in the listener question segment. <laughs> All right, we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. So, Gridlock has said, <clears throat> what was the first beer you ever drank and how old were you? Mine was a VB tinny that I stole from the fridge at 12 and it was really gross. <laughs> and now you've provided us with us. What a contrast, Grid. <laughs> yeah. No wonder yep. you went on a journey to increase your beer palette. etiquette. Palette. Thank yep. you. Yeah. Oh. You're welcome. Got you there, dude. Yeah. Quantum what, brain. What's the uh, quantum brain? <laughs> How'd you get that thing? <laughs> <laughs> well, so I have no recollection of this because I was that young mm-hmm. but my old man used to enjoy his stubby yep. of an evening absolutely as a lot of our old men did yeah um and i i remember as a kid he would like drink it on the couch and like just put it like on the floor sort of like next to him right yeah and i picked it up and wandered off with it uh, i must have been a toddler so i might have been like four or five yeah, yeah. this might get him locked up for like child abuse nah, but that's fine that's like 25 years ago right? yeah so that's, that's probably not a thing. he's probably already done 25 of the years yeah yeah he's, he's probably, paid yeah, for it yeah but, yep. but um yeah wandered off with like a half a stubby and he found me with an empty <laughs> really <laughs> yeah when i was like a kid so wow. it probably explains a lot of things it does actually the quantum mm. brain yeah yeah so you sh- so when um, Lincoln gets to I'm gonna do it five. now. I'm gonna do it Just now. Give him a stubby. As far as I, I've learned, like yeah. the earlier you do it, the smarter they are. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go home and just <laughs> I'm gonna save this. Can I get this in a like a sandwich bag? <laughs> to go, yeah. <laughs> Take it in a little baggie. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I mean, but as a like, <laughs> as a functioning know, human. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Not just some child. Yeah. Um. Oh man, probably like. I remember my first big session. I was 15. Yeah. Like yep. a real big session. Yep. Um, was that like, my house? No, that was uh, after my mum's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> that'll do it. <laughs> Sorry to get real dark there for a second, but... Um, <laughs> that'll, that'll make you put a few beers in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and ongoing after that. But like, probably like... Um, I remember my dad would like give me like a mouthful or a sip. Yeah. Mum would too if she had like wine. Yeah. Like a sip, but yep. like probably like 11. Yeah, okay. But like my first like session... 15. Yeah. So that was your ramp up. First, yep. you, you're down to VB at, let's say, three years probably, old. No, it was probably a cut and cold. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> the, old, the old coldies. Yeah. 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 So you're down one of those. Then yep. you had a few sips along the way. Yeah. And then you went, fuck it, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get into it. Yeah. 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 yeah, okay. How about you, dude? I'd say pretty similar. I think I remember distinctly around the age of that, uh, probably about somewhere between 10 and 13. Yeah. Doing the old... Oh, can I have a sip of that, Dad? Yeah. Wait, no, he left me when I was nine. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as you before, can tell, we're very emotionally scarred uh, this, at this podcast. This we, is what's created us. Yeah, broken yeah. homes. Broken homes. <laughs> yep, yep. Tragic losses in our lives. <laughs> yep. And some explained, some not explained. <laughs> <laughs> He'll come back. He's just getting cigarettes. <laughs> sure and milk. And milk. It's, it's the, the milk that's store. taking a while, yeah. Of course, you wait for the cow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He had to grow the cow and that takes okay. time. I, I, anyways, well, I mean, like, maybe like a year, but all right. Yeah, but he's like, you know, 
you know, it's, it's good. it didn't have GPS on its phone. It's been like 23 years, dude. <laughs> I'll wait. <laughs> Good things come to those who wait. <laughs> right, Papa. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so yeah, it had to be sometime before I was nine. So I guess eight or nine. Yeah. Did the same thing. Just had a little bit of a sip of a VB. Yeah. And then I didn't touch because that was disgusting. Oh, yeah. I think that's their plan. Yeah, yeah. Like, give them, give them VB <laughs> when they're nine yeah. and have no taste buds except for chocolate and yeah. Fruit Loops. Yeah, yeah. And they'll hate everything. Yeah. So... That was uh, a, a smart plan, kind of. It backfired, right? Because then I went to high school and there was this mate who actually kind of like, his family owned a large piece of property, like two acres maybe, in South Geelong. I think I like the laugh that you say it's a large piece of property. Well, I mean, in South Geelong, like this oh, is Geelong, yeah, yeah, you know? Geelong, this is yeah, across yeah. from the Geelong showgrounds. Yeah. And his, I don't know what the um, situation was, but like, his family was broken, I guess. Because <laughs> he could just do whatever he wanted. Okay. Like, the parents were never around. So yep. he was just like, hey, I'm throwing a party. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking of just inviting the whole school of like a thousand people. Yeah. I was like, cool, dude, I'll be there. <laughs> I'm actually someone that goes to the school. Yep. I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, me and my two friends, um, his older brother, one of their older brothers, bought a slab of yep. Red Bear. I don't know. Oh, Red Bear. Yeah. I yeah, guess it was like yep. UDL, right? Yeah. Um, like a flavored vodka. Yeah, yeah. I think, I can't remember. Um, and we bought a slab and then one of the mates bailed. So it was just me and this other bloke with our slab with together. a slab of Red Bear. And w- neither Fucked. of us had ever drunk outside yeah. of my little sip of VB. And I think he had, he said like half a bottle of wine at like an 18th or something. Yeah. And so we were just like, well, and it tasted great, right? It's, it's just cordial. It's oh, vodka yeah. and cordial. Yeah, yeah. And so between us, we quickly finished our drinks, which was, I guess, like 12 each. Yeah. And then started Solid like effort, getting... Solid dude. Thanks, man. At we that did, age. We did, but we drank so quick. We drank it like it was cordial. Yeah, yeah. Like it was soft drink. Yeah. So we didn't really... We're like, oh, I didn't realize alcohol could taste so good. So we just kept downing it. Not really computing the more you drink, yeah. the more drunk you get. Yeah. And my, my last recollection was when we finished the 12 each, we were like, do you reckon we... Do you reckon we could go get some more from Josh? And they were like, oh, yeah. yeah. Josh has tons of beers in the fridge. Yeah. And he's got a fridge in the shed. Yeah. Weird, weird situation. Weird house. Is it and, weird? Uh, that's, that's well, childhood. it wasn't Josh's house. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> it was Michael's house. Sure. And Josh had a fridge in the shed. I you lose me, but you're Michael. Yeah, different, different Michael. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, I've got you again. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> we got there. Anyways, that was my last recollection of the night as we were like, yeah. oh, let's go get beers from Josh. <laughs> let's get more, yeah. And then, yeah, mum picked me up the next day and that's all I remember. You felt like death? I, I think I, I actually think I bounced back pretty well. Okay, nice. Yeah, nice. I, was, I think I was drunk actually for that entire day as well. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't until like Monday that I started to come good a little bit yeah. at school. Man, I remember having so many sessions at like mates' houses during high school, you know, yeah. like... yeah. A mate of mine, Nick, where you had so many sessions at his joint because his parents had the same thing. It was like a shed. So yeah. they had like, they built this house or they were were building a house, but they were living in a shed at the time. Yeah. Um, and like, w- they went somewhere and we had a party and like, I was walking like along like the the decking of this house that was under construction, right? Oh God. And I like tripped over like an extension lead. Jeez. I didn't realize what it was, right? I yep. just like fucking hit the deck. Yeah. And I'm like reaching for i'm like what did i trip over I'm like, I'm like swiping at the air trying to like but I'm like, what the fuck was that <laughs> and like apparently the next day like his dad was so mad because i pulled out this extension lead which was parents fucking something oh probably his fucking <laughs> satellite yeah, dish or yeah, whatever something getting his skin max but, oh man like sessions like that as a kid like you know you might you might have like half a dozen or, or half yeah. a slab or whatever but yeah. like there's just it's, nothing like it. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah. Anyway, that was our first listener question. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, this is a great one. I loved this as soon as I read this. This is from uh, Rad. Nice. Yep. Um, he said, Emperor Palpatine, Emperor Cusco, and the Emperor of Mankind. <laughs> Fuck, marry, kill. <laughs> <laughs> So is Cusco's from Emperor's New Groove, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Cusco. Okay. Cusco's, <laughs> Cusco's poison. The poison's made especially for Cusco. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. Okay, it's yeah. So good. Pre-llama or post-llama? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, take... no, wait. That's big. Because that, that affects my decision greatly. Uh, no. If you can't handle him at his worst, <laughs> you don't deserve him at his best. 
Okay. So you've got to have both. Okay. So, for example, if you met woman to marry Emperor Cusco, you get both versions fuck of Cusco. Cusco. Yeah, okay. So you've chosen fuck Cusco, but who are you going to marry? The Emperor of Mankind or Palpatine? Mankind. And then kill Palp? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think Cusco's a good time. Yeah. He seems like he's just a, he's a yeah, party man. He's a party. Yeah. So I'm going to marry Cusco. Oh. Spend the rest of my life with Cusco. See, I'm, I think he's more of a one nighter. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> now, nah, of pre, those. Pre Lama, if I have to choose. <laughs> it's clever. You're like, you picked to marry the emperor, right? Yeah. So that's smart because he's vegetable. He's a vegetable. Right? <laughs> yeah. So I get to do what I want. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but you are bound to the emperor forever. That's fine. I already am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He protects. <laughs> he protects. So I think I'm going to marry Cusco. Fuck the Emperor. Yep. Because, like, he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I'll kill Palpatine as yeah. well. Yeah. He's just... Dick. Yeah, if we properly kill him, then we don't have to deal with the new trilogy. Good. So... Yeah, good. Yeah. So that's a win for everyone, really. Yeah. You're welcome. Yep. <laughs> uh, unless you liked it, in which case, it's a win for everyone <laughs> else. <laughs> now, Hawkers asked a doozy. Oh, this... As Hawker's questions are always a doozy. Yeah, I think he thinks we know more about the law. I don't know why. <laughs> We've never demonstrated that once. No, not, not once. <laughs> Especially <laughs> any law that pertains to space marines. Yes. Give us Zeno's questions, which I guess this kind of is. He said, of the three great wars to take place on the world of Armageddon, basically, which is our favorite of those three wars yep. and why? Yeah. Now, I had no idea what any of these wars on Armageddon were. See, I, I only knew of... Uh, on Armageddon, orcs were a problem. Mm-hmm. That's all I knew of. Yeah. I didn't realise there was three wars. Yeah. So, what, I'm interested. What I thought I would do, because we have no idea, is quickly read a summation yep. of each of the wars, yep. just on a wiki. Yeah, yeah. And then we can decide which we think is the best, and our listeners who also don't know the wars will get a little bit of a poorly portrayed bit of a war tidbit yeah a little yeah. law tidbit yeah a little one yeah just a baby titty nice <laughs> wait what so the first <laughs> war for armageddon for those of you who were like me and didn't know armageddon's actually a place it's, it's a, a hive city right wait is it, isn't it a planet it's a, uh, i thought it was a hive city oh great anyway it's, 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 <laughs> we fucked it, up already. it's a location of sorts <laughs> <laughs> somewhere in the universe yeah 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 so the first war for armageddon is yep. perhaps the least well known and probably for good reason so chaos cultists worshiping the chaos god corn broke out in rebellion against the world's imperial government during a warp storm. Nice. So that's what it took, I guess. Yep. Then some crazy stuff happened and the demonic legions and chaos cultists quickly pushed the imperial defenders back in an orgy of bloodshed. Nice. As corn do. Until help arrived in the form of space wolves and the grey knights space marines. Oh, cool. Space wolves and grey knights, I own both. They're my two factions. So already this is winning for me. Yeah. Uh, but one final tragedy, tragedy was to strike the planet in order to preserve the secret of the demon Primarch's existence. I've skipped a bunch, obviously. <laughs> the entire population of Armageddon was rounded up, sterilized, and sentenced by Auto Malleus of the Inquis- Inquisition to imperial work camps for the rest of their lives. Wow. While a new pop- population was brought in to resettle the planet. <laughs> wow. Ooh, that's big. Um, it's real big. So I guess the Imperial won. The Imperium won I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Who really wins, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not the citizens of the planet. So the entire, <laughs> the entire population was sterilized and moved out. Yeah, and then new people were moved in. And it was like, hey, this has always been a fun-loving, go-happy yeah. planet. This planet's just empty and we've built infrastructure here for you guys already. But all the places are furnished and there's food <laughs> in the fridges. Hey, it's turnkey. <laughs> <laughs> It's timeshare. So, yeah. <laughs> you share the time with the de- the people we removed and sterilized. Yeah. So the second war for Armageddon yep. was an invasion of a massive orcs that arrived by the more- mighty war boss Gazgul. Ah, uh, the old Gazgul Thracker? Correct. The right? old Thracker man himself. Thracker, yep. Get um, thracked, dude. Some stuff happened. Yep. And... Uh, some stuff happened. <laughs> you scroll- Although the Hive City eventually <laughs> fell, the distraction gave whatever the distraction was, gave the Imperial forces enough time to mount a counterattack that finally broke the back of the Orc invasions. Wow. Commander Yas- Yarrick, who we know, yep. survived and would clash with Guskel again 
Von Strab escaped from his jailers. <laughs> missed, missed a bunch of that guy. <laughs> and the orcs would come once more. Yep. So, I guess they sort of beat the orcs off. They beat them off. <laughs> they beat them off. But yep. you know, once you've got an orc like infestation, you never get rid of it. It's like cockroaches? No, it's like uh, chlamydia. Mm. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Yeah. The third war for Armageddon <laughs> was 57 standard years after his first attempt mm-hmm. to conquer Armageddon. Thraka led a second orc war against the planet. Oh, he came back for round two. Oh, he always does, doesn't he? He's like that Randy Marsh meme. Like, I didn't hear no bell. And he's like, all fucked up. Have you seen, have you seen that South Park episode? <laughs> nah. Oh, God damn, dude. <laughs> uh, I've seen this funny sports <laughs> series where this guy gets his ass beat and he... he Stands up and the other guy's like, you know what? I'm not wasting any more time on you. <laughs> and walks off and the other guy's like, that's it. Have you had enough? <laughs> <laughs> I just lose every time. He's just like, like missing teeth. <laughs> Fuck He's like, you had enough? <laughs> Anyways, although the third war for Armageddon has ended with the Imperium winning a narrow victory, fighting still continues on the planet. Yep. Gaskell has left the world behind, pursued by Commander Yarrick's Imperial Guard forces. So they uh, chased him away. They chased him away with yep. the full Black Templar's crusade at his back. <laughs> the orcs have come to regret Armageddon as a kind of Val- or regard Armageddon as a kind of Valhalla or sacred place where they can always come for a good fight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. That's that's really cool. I uh, liked all three. Sorry for paraphrasing. We don't have time to read yeah. the entire article. Oh, I think we know it's a big about. it's a big wiki. Yeah, it's a big old wiki. Big old wiki. Big old wick. We've got a thick wiki. It's a thick wick. Yep. Um of those three. I mean, the second two seem similar. Mm. I'm sure there was... I mean, he, he does mention that the... Yeah, anyways, I can't read it because my phone's gone low battery and the screen's <laughs> darker now, so... Yeah, I think the first one's the most interesting yeah, and the most unique because the second two are just gaz. Orcs. Old yeah. Thraka coming back for more. I like how the population was sterilized and then just like it, relocated. It seems to be from that dark part of Warhammer lore. Yeah. I don't do that stuff no more. You're not reading about that in the new codex. No. Nah, nah. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, but I also like the same part where it's like the orcs consider um, Armageddon as like a Valhalla, you know? It's yeah. like a It's like a, a heaven of sorts where it's mm. just constant war. Mm. You know, you can go there to just to fight. Yeah. You know, so I that, do like that's that. cool. I like that. Is that kind of what they're doing with, um, sorry, I forget what it's called, the new Octavius? Oh, sorry, yeah. Octarius? Was Warzone Octarius or something like that? I don't sorry, know what we should know it. more. Yeah, we, we should sh- know more. We should know more. Like, we've got <laughs> so much stuff to keep a track of, like 40K narrative. <laughs> like, it's yeah. like, it's hard. It's yeah. hard. It's yeah. deep. Our eyes have been elsewhere momentarily. Yeah. But, yeah, I think it is, and it's like a, anyway, we'll, we'll actually get into that some other time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Moose asks, of the upcoming releases for any game system... What are you guys most excited for, for the mm, upcoming releases? Upcoming releases. For me, it's got to be Kill Team. Yeah, Kill Team I know too. it's a bit of a cop-out. Yeah, it is. Because we're 40k players. We've, yep. We're actually Kill Team players. Yeah. Uh, but we stopped for whatever reason. For 9th edition, I think. Yeah, for 9th edition 40k. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we have always had a love for Kill Team, but the rules kind of just felt like, yeah, 40k light. Yeah, yeah. 40k-esque. So, but we love War Cry's rules. Yeah. So... You know, the, the bespoke approach they've taken to this version of Kill Team. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably what I'm most excited for. It was interesting to see that, yeah, that cross there and see what happens. But uh, it's coming out soon, dude. So we'll keep it's an eye out for August, it. right? Yep. Ear is to the ground. <clears throat> I just see Oliver's playing League of Legends. Of course. But he asked us a question as well. Yep. What full-size game, i.e. not a skirmish game, would be your main jam if you couldn't 40k anymore? <coughs> that's full size game that's but a not great a question. skirmish game yeah great right question, dude that is big i think that would open up a heap for us to be honest I oh mean, man it would that'd be a blessing <laughs> yeah i'd love the shackles of 40k to be taken from me <laughs> yeah. but unfortunately yeah. it's too fucking good yeah too yeah fucking good yeah um <clears throat> i think i don't think it would be age of sigma no for me anyways not for me either i think i would explore something else not i, I don't know about um Kings of War. Mm. Don't know if I like the rank and flank, which rules out that and um, Game of Thrones. Know, oh yeah, Game of Thrones. Game of yeah. Thrones. Yeah, Song of Ice and Fire. Yeah, maybe Legion is probably a bit small to be considered full scale. Yeah, it's I don't know. It's more than it's it's more than the skirmish because skirmish is yeah. generally each model is an individual unit, right? Yeah, yeah. Where Legion's not, you still you still move a squads of five or ten dudes. Yeah, yeah. 
So, and you could play it bit, like larger scale, yeah. Obviously, but that's true for probably any game. Yeah. Um, I think <clears throat> I think I know what mine would be. Well, I think if they count Legion, then it would be Legion. Yep. If they didn't, I think I'd look into something like Warcaster or is that what it's called? What is oh? It's a sci-fi one, but it's like War Mah- Hordes. War Machine. It's like War Machine. War Machine and Hordes. They, War Mah- Hordes. Yeah, War Mah- Hordes. yeah. That, it's a fantasy and a sci-fi one, but they work together. They can. It's yeah. like it's like you could you, if if there was a way you could use Sigma models with forty k. Totally, exactly. Yep. That's a great analogy. Yep. Yeah, I think they still function better as the individual games. Probably, but like yeah, because probably. the scene's so small, it's better yeah. to yeah. I think maybe I'd look into something like that. I don't know, man. I don't know. What would yours be? Bolt action. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. That's good, that's a good call. That's what I. That's the thing. What I'd pick. Ooh. Yeah. You could do War Surge at full scale as well. Yeah, yeah, you could. Absolutely. I mean, but that's like adapting rules, I suppose. Or Conflict 47. Yeah. Which is like that alternate history bolt action. Man, I would love to... <clears throat> I would almost love to have 40k taken <laughs> from us. and But it, it well, has to be taken from everyone. Cause... I'd like to know just briefly what it's like. I wouldn't, yeah. want, I wouldn't want to be going for good, but I'd like to know, like, just give me a, just give me a taste. Give me yeah. a week yeah. with no such thing as 40k. Yeah. But no one's allowed to play it because the big the biggest thing is we could take a break. Oh, we, we have that power we now. Yeah, but everyone, everyone's still playing it and posting and I don't it, miss and painting out. it. Yeah, it's I like... love that shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a tough one, man. Yeah. Um, because full scale games, we've always just only really had room for one. Yeah. Because of the nature of the games. Yeah. Whereas skirmish, we can fill up a pallet with those. Yep. As we have. Yeah. Yeah. So it would be interesting. I would like to look into that. Mm. I don't think any. That none immediately flood to my head. Yeah. Like conquest or whatever. None nah. of that. I suppose that's all rank and flank, so. Great question. Yep. Great question. Great question. Yeah. <laughs> I had I had uh, one more thing that I wanted to mention. Okay, what is it? August is coming up. Oh, August. It is coming up. So it's, it's tomorrow, tomorrow in fact, as of as of recording. Yeah, true. So this will probably get dropped after August. Yep. Probably in August. Yeah. And I would like to propose a challenge to anyone who wants to take it. Okay. It's a pretty simple one. Yep. You got to put paint on plastic for 30 days for the entire August. Okay. So you got to paint every day. You got to paint something every day. Like finish something every day? Or no. Just pa- no. Just paint. Just okay. put paint on plastic. Yep. And post it. And I'm thinking just for August, just for this, make a separate channel on the Discord. Yep. And people can post their daily things. Day nice. one, this. Day two, this. Yep. Um... I issue the challenge to you. Okay. Obviously. I accept. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> I have to do it. <laughs> um, and this will be tough for me because right now I'm building orcs. Yeah. And that's all I want to do. Yeah. So to put paint on plastic for this month, it's going to be hard. You know what you could do? Just build one orc, paint one orc. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might actually. I might. I might yeah. have like two things going. I might have my orcs prime like two or three of them yeah and then just keep working on that wet blending technique i'm working on yeah so yeah anyway anyone in the discord who's listening uh or if you're listening and you're not in the discord jump in the discord we'll make a channel for it it's just maybe you maybe i'll do a prize in fact i'm gonna do a prize you're gonna do a prize i'll do a prize but i have to figure out what it is yeah no no idea yeah no no idea okay gotta figure it out first i'm keen to see what it is it's gonna be a doozy so get around it a little august only competition august only and so the the way it'll work is you have to first finish paint every day for the full august yep or for you guys from when this episode comes out yeah yeah the rest of august yeah um and then you'll go into the draw to win the prize because nice. obviously i'm not going to give a prize to everyone that does it no nah, nah, like and then like it. you're not going to be judged or anything like that it's just going to be like a random yeah. drawn thing i just want to make sure you're painting yeah Good and shit, we're painting dude. yeah shit. so we'll see how that goes i froth that yeah, me too. I need it. Yeah. I need something to force me to paint because I'm in that lull where yeah. I'm like making excuses. I'm like, I'll just build. I'll just buy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, whatever. Yeah. So I need to start getting some paint on plastic. So. Hell yeah. Challenge initiated. But Challenge. will you accept? I accept. Will Churchy? you? Meh. Churchy's just kind of thinking. Yeah, I'll give it a crack. Yeah. Yep. I don't really have that many models, so. You yeah, got a, you got a, you got a couple. You can just do a little bit of edge oh, highlighting on this. Yeah. 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 Just a little bit. Just a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to give Homie of the Week. All right. Do it, man. This Homie of the Week goes to a person that's very, that's very dear to us. I believe you. The man, the myth, the legend. 
Tricky Dicky himself. Tricky Dicky, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. New store opened. Yep. He had so much planned for a big grand opening, yeah. which was just crushed by... I'm not going to even say it, but everyone knows it. Yeah. Lockdown. No go. Um, no go. No go. <laughs> so I just want to give this to you, Tricky. I managed to get down there today to see the new store. Didn't get to see the old one, but I peeped in the window because you said it was next door. <laughs> so I was like looking like this yep. with my hands against my head looking through the window. Yeah. Everyone was probably thinking I was like casing the joint out, but yeah, there's probably. nothing in there to steal anyway. So No. Um, and I was like looking at this tiny little shop and then right next door you've got... you've quadrupled in size it's oh, fucking awesome. huge that's sick. you've got multiple rooms not just one um so yeah new, new shop is sick dude can't wait to get them more often play some games yeah and uh congratulations man and keep it up tricky is someone that's actually been on our hobby homies journey from the start yeah like we the one of the first big things we did was go to the first summer smash which oh, was like man we were just we were just oh. little fish then oh. in a big old pond. We were blown away by it. I think yeah. we just attended. We didn't do anything special. No, we, we didn't. Yeah, we just I, did like a I was recap. on night shift. I rocked That's up right. for like an hour. Yeah. You were there for a bit longer talking. Yep. I think you met Dave there. Yeah, I did. Yeah. 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 Yep. Absolutely. So without Tricky, we wouldn't know Dave. Yeah. Target acquired. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Yeah. It's been, it's been an awesome journey. It's been fun. Like we've both been growing. Yeah. You know? Him and just like this crazy, it was amazing seeing like when the first time I went in the store, his old store was like yeah. the first week it opened. Yeah, yeah. Might have been even in the first few days, and even that I froth. But then like to watch him just like I was going in there for Infinity a bit, which is like a game that's on my radar, but just can't push into the time slot. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, so good. But it's like it takes full size games time. Guess what? What's up? I bought an Infinity model today. <laughs> We're playing Infinity, just homies. One. Just, one. <laughs> just one model. Well, Churchy has an Infinity model. Churchy has one too. Oh, um. I thought we were playing Infinity for a second there. <laughs> one one yeah, well, literally. Uh, so bro. good. But yeah, yep. tr Tricky's amazing. Throw the dice. Yep. Go to their store. Go to their T -T Facebook. TTD online. TTD online. Com. Yep. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Check out Facebook. You find the actual link Wait, to the website there. Sorry. I think it's TT Dice online. TT. Oh, it's Let it's, me Let me check. I don't want yeah. to get it wrong for y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But look it. up Facebook. Throw the dice. He's got a, a physical store in Geelong in Vinesford, at Hamlin Heights, something like that. Yeah. Um, it's a brick and mortar store. Yeah. If you can support it, it's one of our locals. We would appreciate it. He would too. Yeah. Um, it's ttdiceonline.com. Tt dice um, and they've, he's got a lot. Of, he's got an online store. Yeah. But you know, if there's anything that you want that's not on there, just he shoot him a message. It. Yeah. Shoot him a message on Facebook. Likely yep. he can get it. He's a stockist of many things. Yeah. Yeah. So hit that up. Support him, which supports us, which we will not be able to thank you enough for. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you. Thank you, Tricky. We need another beverage. We'll leave you all to paint, drive to work, whatever yep. it is you're doing. Yep. I've been Fox. I've been Shane. And we've been friends. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. Hooroo.